need everyone to put on their detective caps for me today. And I'm going to give you a question to ponder over in your heads only. Okay? If I had a shoe, and I were to take that shoe and use it along this red strip in our classroom, how many steps do you think it would take for that shoe to go across the floor? Get a number in your head. When you have a number, put your thumb down on your desk for me. The kind of questions we ask in the mathematics classroom have changed pretty dramatically over the last decade or so, um, where we used to really focus predominantly on what was the answer to a problem. Now we're really looking at questions that lead students to an understanding of mathematics. And those are the questions that ask them the how and why kind of thinking. Will you tell me the number you were thinking of? 25. 25. Sounds like a pretty good number. What number were you thinking of? 10. 10. Scott, what number were you thinking of? About, um, 30. About 30. Okay. Brooke, what number were you thinking of? 50. 50. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to ask you one more question. Okay. When you were giving me that number, were you thinking of a shoe like this? Were you thinking of a shoe like this? Or were you thinking of a shoe like this? Whose shoe do you think this one is? Questions that stimulate students' math thinking and pique their curiosity also enhance their abilities to talk and write mathematically. He's a professional basketball player, that's right. 